What is happiness? Able to make other people smile. Is finding and overcoming new challenges. Helping those around me in a big or a small way. It's finding new challenges in life. It's having a great work-life balance. To be a problem solver. Being able to make a difference in someone else's life. Certificate 3 in individual support is exactly about all this. Making a difference to another person's life is the most rewarding things a person can do and an individual support worker does it every day. I'm uh, Sunita Wolfrey. I work as a Director of Studies for Community Courses as well as a National Training Manager for Institute of Health and Nursing in Australia. Uh, today I would like to talk about one of our courses in our community services sector which is Certificate 3 in Individual Support. Um, to start with, let me tell you where all we have, we are delivering this course. We deliver this course as both for the international students and for the domestic students. So as you know, we need to have CRACUS approval to deliver the course for the international students. So for us, we have got CRACUS approval for our campuses in Melbourne and in Perth. In Sydney, we have got our campus in our Charles Street, which we have got CRACUS approval for. And with the domestic students, we have got more other uh, facilities as well, campuses. One of those is the new campus up in North Melbourne in um, um, level two, uh, suit number 203, Boundary Road. That's our newest campus, all right? So let me talk about the course duration, the units in it, and um, the modes of delivery. For with the modes of delivery, as we have got CRACO students, we need to uh, have face-to-face -face delivery, which would be 20 hours per week. And we have got to accommodate the needs of the students, the domestic students, we have got blended delivery. We don't call it as purely online because there are skills component which has to be assessed. So we call it as a blended form of delivery, wherein the students could study their theory component online if they choose to, but they have to demonstrate their skills and they get, have to train for that as well. So they need to come to the campus and they need to go on a work placement as well. So when I tell you about the mode of delivery, that's how we deliver face to face and blend it. Right. So uh, we go into um, the units that we have in our course. We have got actually five different specialities for individual support. So the most popular is aging and disability. We have got 14 units for that particular domain and followed by we have got the specialty just for the aging, just for the disability just for a home and uh, community care and a combination of disability and home and community and aging and home and community, which has got units from 13 to 14. The maximum number of units is 14, depending upon the specialty that we have compiled. Let me talk about the job outcome and the opportunities for this particular course, Certificate 3 in Individual Support. As I've mentioned earlier, there are different domains through which they can be specialized in. So the job opportunity is in diverse areas, in community. So that's why wherein they, when they do the unit for home and community, they will be having an overview of our understanding about how they have to meet the needs of a person when they live in the community in their own homes. That doesn't limit another person who has done aging and disability to work in this sector. So any domain that you do, you still stand a chance to work in the community as well. Now the opportunities are much more than what it is in a residential care setting because of the uh, way that things are moving. People, the government has taken their approach 
towards maintaining the people or keeping the people as long as they can in their own homes. That has actually increased the level of satisfaction of the clients. So there are a lot of opportunities for our students who have completed all the domains to work both in the residential uh, facility as well as in the community. When I say residential, again, the residential care facilities, like one of the examples I would say is Uniting Aging Care, they have got residential care. So a person can work in the aged care homes that we name as. And they have got the community care as well. So they actually hire and you uh, uh, hire people to work in both the sectors of theirs. And there are a lot of providers who are up here in the whole uh, Australia wherein people uh, have to be supported in the community. So we have got providers now under the NDIS, which is National Disability Insurance Scheme, which allows people to work under each provider. And there are millions of providers up now providing care for people in the community. So that itself says how many of job opportunities are waiting out there for the students who have completed this particular course certificate three in individual support. Coming to who can benefit from learning this course. Let me start with the international where I left it at the beginning. So international students, they are here on different um, uh, purpose. Maybe they would have coming in to do their primary course a bachelor degree or a master's degree and they would like to um, actually support themselves by getting into a, any area of job so and the best area is the health sector so what they do is they enroll into individual support certificate 3 as their secondary course and they can complete depending upon their comprehension skills previous studies they can fast track their course as well and complete the whole course in a time frame of even three months and there is another area which we call it as recognition of prior learning so people say for instance a nurse who is coming migrating here and uh, she's looking for something to step in so she will be looking at having a qualification so that she can get she or he can get a job down here. So if they go in for a process of recognition of their prior learning, they can fast track this course much more shorter than what a secondary course person would. I will discuss that in detail at the end of this session. So let me talk about the eligibility now. Okay. So eligibility is pretty much your level, comprehension level and your age. You should be over age of 18 years, that's it. And you should be able to actually communicate in English. So you need to do a language, literacy and numeracy test with us and get a pass so that why do we do this is because in this industry, you're supposed to communicate with people and for that you need to have literacy and you, why numeracy because you might be in a situation to give medication out for people so you need to have some calculation being done maybe at some point for that purpose so you need to at least know how much you should be giving when you're being told to so that's where we have we recommend people or it's a must for the students to have a LLN component to be done before they meet the entry requirement. That's the entry requirement in nutshell for this particular course certificate three in individual support. Um, going into I think I've uh, spoken more about the employment opportunity for this um, in detail. Uh, the areas, as, as I've mentioned earlier, is in the community and in the residential care setting. And some people 
even work with this minimal understanding or the basic knowledge in a practice where in a provider they if they know uh, the basic basics of how to care for a person they would be able to support them when they come to the facility if instance for a, for example if they are coming to an NDIS provider uh, they can be at the front desk giving out the information for them as well okay um, for the if I have to talk about the further study options it's the it's like a door getting open for them it's just a food step into uh, the healthcare industry so if you have got a certificate three individual support you can move up to master's program or even to PhD but it you should have the motivations to study so we provide certificate four in disability and certificate four in aging support and even health administration which gives you uh, takes you to a level higher and from there you could apply for if you have the confidence you can apply to the bachelor's program or if you want to go by step by step and pursue your career or even your studies you can go into a diploma level of study so diploma of nursing for instance diploma of community services diploma of practice management diploma of leadership management we provide all these diploma level of studies for the students who want to actually progress with their studies and they can move on to the bachelor's level through our articulation pathway as well and masters it's all up to them if they want to continue with the masters level or not so when you have done this whole years of study you would stand to my knowledge a good chance of getting a permanent residency eventually uh, that's what some of the students have achieved um, we have got for this particular certificate three in individual support we have enrolled um, um, the rolling in intake so there is no specific start date or end date. The, it happens in a rolling way. So you can enroll as and when you're born and you progress with your studies and the units will be delivered in a rolling way. So if you even miss out one unit, you can, uh, you can look at the timetable and um, continue with your um, studies by looking at which unit you have missed and how you can cope with uh, a missed out units and um, complete the studies. There is an additional benefit for the domestic students who are permanent residents or citizens of Australia. Um, they, we call them as funding students because they don't have to pay a penny for their studies and they can complete their studies without paying um, the tuition fees because the government uh, supports them for their studies. This is to increase the workforce in the healthcare industry. Your eligibility for funding can be assessed by us and we will provide you guidance as to how you can progress with your studies through this option. To conclude, let me take you through the enrollment process. It's very simple. You can log into our website wherein you can just express your interest uh, then one of our admission consultants will be giving you a call and they will take you up from there. You can even pay off your fees online and you can start your journey with us as an online student if you want to. And um, our admission consultant pretty much will take you through the process of your, uh, your journey of study with us, which is going to be really um, great. I can assure you that. I'm just looking forward to see you at our IHNA our our campuses to do our certificate three in individual support. Thank you. Hi, my name is Subin. I am an IHNA graduate in certificate three in individual support. Uh, I always wanted to come to Australia for my bachelor studies, but many of my friends said that uh, it's going to be difficult uh, finding uh, part-time jobs here. So it was one of my friends who suggested me to uh, study the course uh, certificate three individual support in IHNA. So I would say that it was one of the uh, wisest decisions I have made um, because in, t uh, in terms of job prospects, uh, 
healthcare industry leads the market and it is very, it was very uh, easy for me uh, as an IHNA graduate to find a job in an aged care facility and uh, in healthcare industry in general. So I would say that uh, the uh, studying certificate three in individual support made me job ready and uh, it uh, made my um, made me financially capable uh, in terms of paying fees and uh, surviving in Australia. So uh, I would recommend this course to my fellow uh, international students. And um, yeah, uh, it, it it was one of the one of the uh, life changing decisions I have made uh, in my life. So throughout my uh, three years of bachelor studies, I was working as a PCA uh, in an aged care facility, and it made me financially capable uh, with my fees and all. So right now I'm working with IHNA as a marketing executive uh, after I finished my bachelor's, obviously, and. Um, uh, now I'm happy that I'm, I, I could help many international students in uh, their dream to come uh, come to Australia for their studies. So like I said before, I would recommend IHNA and the courses to my fellow international students. And uh, I would say that IHNA is my guiding light in my life. Join IHNA. Hi, my name is Sijo. I'm the clinical placement coordinator for IHNA. Uh, we, in IHNA, we have got students doing their third three in individual support and uh, the students over here don't have to pay anything for their placement. IHNA places them for their placement free of cost. We've got partnership with uh, Japara, Genu and Estia and uh, the students have been happy with their placements. We've, we sent our assessors to the placement so that they've been assessed properly. Uh, with my experience with IHNA, I've been in IHNA since two years and I've seen my students go happy after their placement. They even get recruited in the placement they've been uh, placed in. Come join us at IHNA and be a part of the healthcare industry, which is booming and flourishing. And for sure, you will get a job and be ready for it. This is the only way the client benefit one-to-one -one from a carer. And me as a trainer, have to provide training, give skills, knowledge to our students so that they hold the key in providing and give happiness to the client. Because happiness is all everyone wants. A baby, a mother, any human being. When we talk about satisfaction, they must be happy. So when we go, when we train our students, we provide skills, we provide knowledge, and if Knowledge and skills, it makes them competitive to make choice. To know the secret of a client has been staying for quite longer. We go there and work one to one to build trust, confidence and joy on them. They make their day. That's the secret we hold in this institution. We have skills, we have knowledge, we have students. Don't hesitate. Come for you to be made competitive. Join IHNA and audio key to happiness.